Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing like another highly requested video. Um, a while ago, I think it might have been on my vlog channel or a couple of um, main videos ago, I asked you guys like what other type of videos would you want to see on this channel and a lot of you said how do you do your makeup with a feeding tube. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, I'm just going to basically put on whatever makeup I feel like putting on but I'm going to show you how I do it with my feeding tube. So let's go. The first thing I'm doing is I keep all my um, duoderm, which is the type of adhesive that I use, in this container here. So the first thing I do is I just pick out like a rough, just like a piece that I think is going to be good. So I've just got this square piece here. And then I've also got like little teddy bears as well that I can use to decorate or put on if I'm feeling like it. Um, but because I've only got a limited amount of the teddy bears, what I do is, I'm just going to take this off first, so what I do is, I just find, because as you can see this is kind of loose, so I just find like a loose corner and I just kind of pull at it. Holding the tube here though, at the, at the thing, because I don't want to, um, I don't want to move the tube. So now that it's off, I'm just going to peel off the little teddy bear. I'm just going to peel off that because that's still really, really sticky. It's just this is the piece that we want to change. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And then I'm just going to place the new teddy bear roughly where I want it, which is in the middle. About there. Like that. And I'm just going to set that aside because I'm not going to be putting that on until later. Now, as you can see, I'm just going to move the tube here. It is very quite red. Now Geoderm is one of the um, adhesives that doesn't react to my skin. So, sorry I'm going to probably be sniffing a lot because when you move the tube around in your nose it um, aggravates your nasal cavities and it makes your nose like run because it thinks there's a foreign object in there so it's trying to get rid of it, which there is, but it's, it's not something that I can take out. So I'm going to take some simple baby wipes and until a couple of weeks ago I didn't even know they did baby wipes. And again, I'm just going to hold the tube now. I will give you a little tip. So there's numbers on the tube, and that is how a lot of people tell where it is. So here is 100, and then right near my nose here is 95. Now 95 is where it needs to be. It needs to be 95 around this area. So if it's suddenly, if, if, if 100's here, then I know there's too much tubing. If 95 is here, then I know there's more tube needs to go in. Now, luckily, I have got a little bit of leeway because the tube does sit quite far into my jejunum. So if I do pull it out and take it out, it's all right as long as I'm not pulling 30 centimeters or anything like that. So I'm just going to gently wipe the area. Again, I'm just going to hold the tube so it doesn't go anywhere. I want to be gentle because this skin obviously gets aggravated a lot and it does get quite sore and irritated. And you also have to remember that we can't just change nostrils, especially with NJs. NGs are a bit different because they can go into your stomach so they can come out easily. So now that you've got the area nice and clean, I'm just gonna use this to wipe the rest of my face. At the moment, my skin is pretty clear, apart from a big spot here. This is not actually a spot, that is from fainting. It's a little scab that's appeared. But apart from this little, this big fellow over here, I think my skin is actually starting to clear up which is kind of good because I've had really bad skin since I was about 15 or 16. So I'm gonna continue to hold it as I do my makeup just because I don't want it to go anywhere but I'm gonna do this side first so we can tape it down. So I'm gonna take some primer first. It's the poor professional by benefit. You guys have seen me use it before. Also I just want to say quickly if you are new to this channel um, please go subscribe to my vlog channel and also I just want to say if you're an old subscriber and you're wondering why there's quite a few videos missing, it's because I deleted them and I'll tell you why in a minute. I just wasn't happy with the content on my channel. I just thought that I was trying to be not somebody I'm not, but trying to upload things that were just mainstream videos and it's not really what my channel is about. Um, I did set up this channel to kind of help spread awareness and you know teach people about chronic illness and how it affects like obviously I, I I like to show that even though I've got chronic illness I can still have a normal life or semi-normal now I'm trying not to put too much product over the area that I'm actually gonna put the tape so that's why I deleted the videos because I wasn't happy with them and I just didn't think they 
they kind of you know fitted in with this channel and what I was trying to do so that's why they're gone but there is still plenty of videos on my channel um, and obviously a lot more on my vlog channel so now I'm just going to go back over the area where I'm going to place the just gently in case I've accidentally put any product there because if I have it's going to make it hard for the duoderm to stick to this area. I'm going to get a foundation which is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm going to put a little bit on my beauty blender. I've stopped putting it on the back of my hand recently. I've preferred putting it on my beauty blender and then straight onto my face. So I am using my studio lights today just because it is quite sunny outside but the sun keeps going in and out and it's making it very dark in here. So I'm um, apologising if the lighting does change because the sun's just gone in again. It's a bit of a pain to do your makeup with a feeding tube but by no means does it make it difficult. It's just a bit more awkward, that's all. But once you get like your base layer down and you get it in all the areas that you want it, like the foundation, you're usually fine. I said you can like go over the redness. I know a lot of people do put makeup over the, the area where the tube goes, but I just think it makes it more difficult for the duoderm to stick. Place you can alternatively tape it. Like I know some people tape it here or they tape it to their nose, but then I find that I can't use duoderm to tape it because it's a bit. I'm kind of wasting it then, so I end up using just normal tape which ends up reacting to my skin and causing a whole new a whole nother problem so you just really want to concentrate on the areas where the tape normally covers because it makes it harder once the tape is on to be able to put makeup there now we're just going to check where we are okay see so see now we're at 100 so now we're going to pull it out a bit wait no we're not we're way 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 in that's only gone in quite a bit okay so there's 95 i'm sorry if that was really gross so that is about right. So we're just going to hold it there, kind of figure out where the tape's going to go. And I'm just going to wipe gently. Now, at the moment, the tube is just kinked a little bit in my throat from moving it. So I'm just going to take a drink. I've got fruit juice here. I'm just going to swallow. And now it should be straight. So it's sitting at one side, sometimes it will go into the middle or it will kink a little bit and go to the right. So now that it's definitely in the right spot, we're just going to take this again, like I just said. And we're just going to gently wipe the area. And then we're going to take our Jordan. Like and I'm just going to quickly check it is the right number before we go in. Yep. So that's 100 and that's 95. So it's definitely right. And I'm just going to place it roughly, I don't like to place the tape too close but I like it to be quite close to here so it's not making sure the tube doesn't move. Now, now that that's in the right spot I'm just going to quickly wipe the other side again and I'm just going to give it a bit of an air dry so it's not going straight onto wet skin and then gently Press it down and then like, I like to pinch the tube either side like this just to ensure that it's stuck down like that. Okay, now that foundation is done, we're going to go in with concealer. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up. I love this concealer. I've been using this since I was about maybe like 16. It's such a good concealer. So now, because now we've covered the thing, it's a bit harder, so I'm just going to pull down my eye a bit. And I'm not going to put as much on because you are going to blend it, so it's going to make it a bit difficult. And then just anywhere that you need it. Then obviously I do use it because it is a bit lighter than the foundation, so I do use it as kind of like a highlighter, kind of. Okay, so then again we're going to just pull down the eye. Okay, 
And you can probably see I've got a bit of foundation just over the top of the teddy bear, but that's fine. Um, if it bothers you, then maybe you could always like put your finger there like that, so you're not going to touch it, but usually it's okay for me. I think, and I just do put some pressure on the tape when I'm working around the area, because the more you irritate these corners, the more they're going to peel up quicker. But like I said before, I do have oily skin, so it makes it harder to try and kind of keep these on for more than 24, 48 hours. Um, I know some people keep like a piece of duoderm on there for a week and then they just change this um, bit of plaster that's over the top, but um, it's usually all right. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the Stay Matte Rimmel London Powder. Um, this is also something that I've been using since I was about 15 or 16. I like to kind of pat rather than brush because I feel like it goes on better. And I also like to put more where I'm more like where I tend to get more oils that break through. Again, I'm just gonna hold this down while I powder around the area. Now I'm going to get some of the bronzer by Hula Benefit, by Benefit, the Hula Bronzer, should I say. I'm going to start off by taking this big fluffy brush by Via Techniques, I think it is. I can't tell you exactly what, I think this is called like a, a powder brush, um, but the, I've had it that long that the writing is rubbed off and I can't tell what it says, so. I'm just going to twist it in there like that, then tap it, get any excess off, and I'm just going to basically put a wash of it all over. Okay, now I'm going to take a smaller brush, um, again by Real Techniques, I can't tell you what this is. <laughs> um, do I do the same thing except I'm going to contour with it this time. Now, because of the tape, you can't really contour on this side, but I do kind of work out where the contour would be. So you just kind of like stick your cheeks in and kind of work out, and then you can kind of bring it down above and below where it would. Roughly contour. Um, if you had to take selfies, you might as well just stick to your good side. So next we're going to use some of the High Beam Highlighter by Benefit. And again, we're going to have the same problem because of the tape. But again, you can just kind of work it, like kind of just where it would normally be. I'm just using my middle finger to blend that in. And now I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to dip it in again, I'm just going to use kind of what's left over. I'm just going to put it a tiny little bit just above the tape. Obviously that's not where I'd normally put highlighter but I'm just putting a little bit there and then I'm going to put a little bit of my brow bone The next I'm probably going to go and do my brows I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomenade in Ebony and then I've just got a little brow brush here yeah, it's going to focus if I come a bit closer, that might be better. I'm getting that close in person. I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't really notice then if I. Um, kind of just had my mirror completely in front of the camera. So if we did, I apologise. So now that we're done with that, I'm just going to take the brow drama and I'm just going to run that through the very front of it. I'll try not to block the view this time. Like that. 
and then we're just gonna repeat the same on the other brow okay so now that brows are done I'm just gonna quickly wipe off any foundation that's on my lips I'm not actually gonna be putting any lip um, stick on I'm just gonna put a lip, bit of lip balm but I just thought instead of them looking all pale they can be skin colour so I'm just gonna put on some of this baby lips lip balm I'm not really sure which one it is it just looks like this like that I'm gonna get the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern, modern Renaissance palette I'm just gonna take the golden colour here that one So just like that, so it's kind of like a little bit of a smoky nudish colour and then I'm going to take some of the concealer and I'm just going to pop a few dots over near the bottom. I'm going to take my pinky finger I'm just going to pat that in gently and then I'm going to go in with this pale colour here. It's almost empty. I'm just going to pack that on to the lid. Like that. And then I'm gently just going to blend more to the inner corner. Then I'm going to take the little um, eyelash curler. Just bring my mirror a little bit closer. And then I'm going to take the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I'm going to, I'm not going to put too much on. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to wipe a little a bit of the product off with a um, with a wet wipe. Just not too much, just a little bit. Focus on me. And then I'm gonna take the sen Ooh, squeaky. sensitive mascara. I do not know what brand this is. I've had it forever. Um, now this is a clear mascara. I'm just gonna wipe some of the product off this as well. I'm just gonna give my lashes just one coat with this because this kind of like stiffens it a little bit and kind of makes them stay curled upwards. I think. We are pretty much done. Let me just zoom out. Oh, wrong way. Too close, too close. I see my hairy armpits again. I apologise. I need to shave. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't apologise. Society making us shave our armpits. God. So this is the finished makeup look. Um, it's kind of quite natural, but obviously the point of this video was to show you guys how I did my makeup with a feeding tube. Um, and obviously I've not cleaned underneath this bit as much as I should have because it is starting to peel a little bit but I'll still be able to leave it on for a good 24-48 hours before I have to change it anyway but anyway yes this is the finished look guys I really hope you enjoyed this video I really kind of hope it gave you some information on how I do my makeup with a feeding tube or feeding tubes in general I did do a all about my feeding tube video where I answered some general questions and explained about why I have it, what it is, what type of tube it is so if you're interested in watching that, um, it is on this channel. I will leave a link down below so you can go check that out as well. But please give this video a big th thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, I have such a curly thumb. Um, but yeah, please give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And please don't forget to comment down below any suggestions or anything like that. Um, and let me know if any of you guys have feeding tubes. Um, like, how, how do you do your makeup? Is it similar or do you have like a different technique? It'd be so cool to like swap tips um but yeah i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye